But what's going on here? What's going on here? I wanted to show you guys a very economical way to clean fuel injectors. You can do this for Toyota, Honda, Lexus, Acura, Subaru, Kia, Hyundai, any fuel injector you need to have cleaned. This injector right here is out of a 2007 Acura TL, but this will work for any fuel injector. First thing you need is you're gonna need a battery, a fully charged battery. You need some uh, carb cleaner, choke cleaner. This is from Gum Out. All this stuff, this is from O'Reilly, O'Reilly Auto Parts. You're gonna need a two inch long of tire valve stem. You need some alligator clips. You need some super glue. Uh, you need to use the cap off the end of the valve stem, so don't lose that. You're gonna need some drills, drill bits, I should say, a drill. And uh, we'll get rocking and rolling. You also need this straw off the uh, off the bottle of uh, carb cleaner. You drill the hole for the straw into the top of the valve stem or the cover of the valve stem. I'm gonna use a 564th or a 30/32nd drill bit. So I'm just drilling this hole to make room for the straw so it doesn't need to be dead on, but I'm gonna try to get dead on. All right, there's one. Let me see if the straw will fit. I don't think it'll be big enough. I'll probably have to tap it a little bit bigger. Nope, it needs to be a little bit bigger. Make this hole a little bit bigger. Yep, it fits. Next thing we're gonna do is get it lighter and heat this end up and then have it uh, curl over a little bit and then have it stuck on the inside of the valve stem here. You only need to hold this here for a second. Let it melt just a little bit. It's melted. I'm bringing it down in. It kind of rolled back, the straw rolled back, and now I have it stuck on the inside of the valve cap. Yep, I have air through there. Take my super glue and seal the top off. So I have a tight, tight fit. So the idea is, I'll take the end of the straw, put it into the sprayer right here, put the other end onto the end of the valve stem, and uh, we'll start cleaning this injector. So next thing you need to do, inside the valve stem, there's a one-way check valve. Looks like this right here. So you need to get that out. Uh, they, spell, they sell special tools, but you don't need special tools to get this thing out. Right down there, you can see the valve stem. I just used a pick. It's righty tighty, lefty loosey in there. You get, just stick the pick down in here, and you turn it. I'm turning the valve stem. You just work it out. You don't need that special tool, but if you have the tool for taking out the valve stem, it makes it that easier, but you can do it with a pick. Probably do it with a fork. Just any piece of metal that'll get that free and clear. Okay, so this one's free and clear. It's got a hole all the way through it. Next thing we're gonna do, so we get the uh, the valve stem that's open all the way through without the check valve in there. If, this is gonna be a little bit tight, but this is very pliable rubber. If it is a little bit tight, you can get some oil and put it down in there. But you just shove the injector down into there, right? You take the little cap stem we created, we put it down into there. Now you take the end of the straw, put it into the carb cleaner. Now we have a tiny little alligator clips that we're gonna put onto the connectors on the inside of the fuel injector. We're gonna leave those connected. That opens it when, the, when, the, when it's energized, it's open. When it's not energized, it's closed. So as I energize this, I'll spray down on the carb cleaner I guess if we had some time, we could epoxy this. But this is the principle of how you do this. There you go. That's how you clean a fuel injector using gum out carb choke cleaner. A battery, some time, some patience. If you have found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to Bunny's Garage on YouTube. Questions, comments, concerns, you can always reach out to me at bunniesgarage at gmail.com. You can follow me on Twitter at Bunny's Garage. 
And like always, I'll keep them rolling for you.